After Pai Lama Ji, so, so he was lining up. You see the sticks in his hands? But the real situation, the real happening was even more dramatic. Because after seeing that he himself could walk without stick, he got all the way there, here, then he was ready, running. And then he was even more excited. Why? For so many years he couldn't walk. Now he could run. So he gave all the people another happy surprise. He became all of a sudden Bruce Lee. He did something like this. <laughs> Show you. Look at him. He was on stage like this. And then he was running. And then he became Bruce Lee. <laughs> that's the newspaper. Ah. Yeah, that's in December. Two years ago. Yeah. So at that time I think, oh, who is this man? He said, okay. And then next year, in the following two years, every year I would go to Singapore twice. And he would always show up in my seminar to give his own testimony. And he put that day's newspaper into a piece of you know, plastic. He's such a lovely, lovely man, huh? So, my vision, my dream is to make all of you, everyone, a healer yourself. We're not doctors, but we could be a healer. Is this a fantasy? We probably come to a turning point in human history. This, many people, after being healed by this, came to me ask a very serious question. Some senior officials asked me, if this is so good, why didn't you teach them in the medical colleges to teach people in the senior <laughs> age house? And one gentleman, a very senior official in China, he went to seek advice from a professor, very famous professor in medical school. He asked him, Mr. So-and-so, did you ever hear or heard of Pai He said, yeah, that is something I used when I was young. Very good. Then his next question is, you are a good professor. Why did you, why did you teach in the school? You put it in the textbooks. And then that old gentleman, the professor smiled. He said, do you want to kill me? If I do this, my teachers, my colleagues, my students, all of them will be against me. You see what I mean? I am doing a mission impossible. Or at least adventure, dangerous. It is not because it is not good. It is because it's too good. So, to me, or not to me, or to your mom. Yeah. Just one mom. So nowadays, I think about 12 million people all over the world are practicing doing this. Yeah. That's in Germany, from a German newspaper. That's in Tibet. So the following times I went to Tibet. See, the first time I went there, use the acupuncture. Now, I just teach them to do it all by themselves. So it worked so well so, and learned easily. And this is Malaysia. Hundreds of thousands of people do this as a kind of morning exercise. And that's in Germany. Also in Germany, and that's in Hong Kong. That's in Switzerland. This is one of the journal managers. A big company, multinational company called Evergreen, a shipping company from Taiwan. The general manager had heart disease, gout problem, and also hypertension. Many, many years of medication. After doing this, no more medicine. So he invited me to give a talk in his country. All the middle managers, they learned this. Then they teach their, you know, in their unit to tell their department. That's in Bosch, a big company in Germany. I give 12 seminars there. That's in Singapore, Taiwan University, and even Taiwan's Congress. And Taiwan people are so happy about this because in Taiwan's Congress, the Congress went off to fight each other with fists. <laughs> now they say, Mr. Shah, you teach them a good way. They can beat themselves. <laughs>
that's the doctor. She is teaching in the temple, you know. And in Hong Kong, you see that Eva, you know, with the RA problem, the Filipino maid in her home learned this. So every Sunday in the church, it's time for the Filipino maid to teach all the other sisters to do kind of magic. It's great. That's also in Malaysia, in the home, and in our Switzerland the workshop. And even before my departure from Germany, <laughs> go through Frankfurt. So the Deutsche Telekom said, you will go through Frankfurt anyway. So I was invited to give them a lecture. Yeah. <laughs> you know who he is? Ah, uh, Cookie. Look at this guy. Oh, <laughs> All the way from South Africa. <laughs> he attended the Germany workshop. Ha. I would say a few words about Mr. Huang, see? Look at this, all these large benches. That is not a clinic, that is his home. He is a person with 39 years of, no, 39 year old years problem of hypertension. He got hypertension for 39 years, taking medicine for 39 years. But after doing private lighting, he did all the medication, and then his wife got all the low back pain since the first baby was born. So it's over 30 years. So after doing pathology, all the pains are gone. And then their daughter, stomach problem, after doing pathology, also gone. So these three family members, they formed the team. They turned their house into a larger house, Paida house. So they did that for free for almost one year until it's too crowded. So many people came, diabetes, cancer problems. So they went out and find out a house. So then people had to pay a kind of membership fee. Before it was all free, so it's kind of casual. But now, after paying only $60 a month, people are so concentrated, so serious, without wasting one minute. Why? Because they pay money. <laughs> so money sometimes talks. Huh? See, that's in Hamburg, Germany. That's in Penang, Malaysia. See, in Malaysia, each time, all this kind of space is fully occupied. Every year I went there, it's all the same. Yeah. Guess where it is? India. This city is called Pandichu. Do you know where it is? Have you ever seen the movie? Life of Pi. Okay, that's where the movie took place and where the movie was shot by An Lee. Okay, Dr. An Lee is a friend of mine. Two years ago, when I went to Taiwan, he came up all the way from Taichung, where he was shooting the movie, to what? To organize a party. What kind of party? Pai Damaji. He was the first one to be beaten up. Why? Because he got frozen shoulders. Like the very first photo I show you. And you know, for about 20 or 30 minutes up here, beating up here. Oh, free. But he organized that party not because for himself, for his friend who got a this problem. For three months he couldn't walk. So that friend came all the way from Hong Kong to Taipei. Just for one hour, Pai Da and Lajin, we walked for three hours. Excellent. So it's really good. Huh? So that's also in Pondicherry. Every day, I was there for like two, uh, two weeks. Every day, party, party, party. Big party, small party, party. In India. And that's one of the best Indian dancers. The lady in the middle, see? She got some pain here, here, you know, the dancer. Then, all the problems are gone, so she invited all her relatives to Pondicherry for what? Party. Party, exactly. <laughs> and when I last year was in France, because French, French people, they said they love wine, they love life. So I said, okay, you can get a wine party together with the Paida Lajin, you can say Paida Lajin Wine Party. You can drink wine. This is Celadine. That lady 